welcome to TV TV Sport and to the BJM Stadium where Hanworthy Recreation are hosting Bournemouth Poppies in the FA Vars second round qualifying. <laughs> Subscribing to this channel couldn't be easier. Hit the subscribe button and leave us a comment and a thumbs up would be lovely. So just for some context, Hanworthy Rec are sitting top of the Velocity Wessex Division 1, having not lost the game yet. Today's visitors ply their trade in the division above and having played seven matches, sitting 15th in that mid-table bunch. A lovely day in a lovely stadium with lovely people. Oh, hi football friends. Hi. Yeah, you as well. Hi. <laughs> With a few of the local clubs not playing today, there was a fairly decent crowd in, as you can see. Anyway, let's have a look at these starting lineups. Today's winners go through to the first round proper on the 21st of October. Who's going to come out on top? Well, that's a very good question, Tony. And Worthy Rec haven't lost, have they? But Bournemouth Poppy's playing the division higher. I suppose we're just going to have to watch the game to find out, aren't we? Yeah, go on then, crack on. The Poppies started the match like a thoroughbred, racing out the blocks and creating their first chance in the first four minutes. And that chance was snuffed out by Fredericks when he clattered into Kyle Graham and a penalty was awarded. Jaden Medcraft doesn't make a mistake and puts the poppies 1-0 up. Up. We're still inside the first 10 minutes and it's pretty much one-way traffic. In this move, Lewis Freak underlaps and puts a fantastic ball across the six-yard box. But somehow Stocker misses the ball and the chance goes begging. But rather than rue that missed chance, Stocker latches onto the end of this fantastic through ball. And then slides it home through the legs of the keeper to double his team's lead. <laughs> Two goals down with 15 minutes gone. It looked like the writing was on the wall for Rick. But they started to play. Hamrick literally created chance after chance after chance. I've not clipped any Poppy's chances out, I promise you, it really was like this. The main torment was coming down this left hand side via Frank Rosenwald and Tyler Rudd. An honourable mention has to go to the wreck midfield though, particularly Brad Cherritt, who was stepping in and breaking down any threatening counter attacks. With all those chances getting created, it was just a matter of time before they scored. 
I think Cherrick got the credit for this on the socials. But for me, it's Cooper's Corner that goes straight in via the head, although it's probably over the line from Bruno Manuel. Six minutes later and Cherit does get his name on the score sheet via a corner routine which looks oddly familiar. At this point, poppies were hanging on to get to half-time level. But level it was, and the visitors created the first chance of the second half. But Hamrick hit back. Chris Long picks the ball up and feeds it to George Deem. That's a fabulous fingertip save from the Poppies keeper to keep his side level. 12 minutes into the second half and George Dean does a little bit of juggling before feeding Tyler Rudd. Rudd smashes the ball into the far corner and almost smashes his boot into the keeper's face. That will make a great photo. Play had barely restarted before Frank Rosenwald was hauled to the ground. And up steps George Dean. An horrible deflection takes the ball past the keeper and puts Rec 4-2 up just under the hour. Substitute Connor Ford was found on the left wing and does his best to drag his team back into the match. What we have coming up here, ladies and gentlemen, is my move of the match. It's just precise and deadly. <laughs> 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 Chris 
Chris Long gets on the end of Harvey Doe's cross and picks his spot. We're not too far from the end now, and Rudd goes on another run. We're into injury time and our referee is just about to, oh there she goes, blows the whistle, how worthy wreck, finish off 5-2 winners, what a comeback and they progress into the first round proper of the FA Vars. Congratulations to Rec, commiserations to Poppies, if you want to subscribe do so, you should know how to do it by now and I'll see you next time, cheers.